to have eternal life to our brother Medardo Fernandez Salcedo. The hosts of angels in heaven rejoicing. God is rejoicing because the place he has reserved for Medardo will now be occupied. Why are we sad? We are sad because deep within our hearts we see that in truth we are weeping for him who has been our delight. We are sad because death took him away from our presence. But even in its apparent ugliness, death has its own beauty. Physical death is the passage's way to eternal life. It is hope for our own eternal life that has brought us here together. For all of us who believe in Jesus, our Lord and Savior, eternal life is ours even here and now. Please all rise and let us all sing the entrance hymn. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies, and the God of, of, of all consolation. He comforts us in all our afflictions, and thus enables us to comfort those who are in trouble with the same consolation we have received from Him. Blessed be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. I bless the body of Medardo with holy water that recalls his baptism of which St. Paul writes, All of us who were baptized into death, by baptism into his death, we were buried together with him, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live a new life. For if we have been united with him by likeness to his death, so shall we be united with him by the likeness in his resurrection. Let us pray. Almighty God, our Father, we firmly believe that your Son died and rose to life. We pray for our brother Midardo, who has died in Christ. Raise him at the last day to share the glory of the risen Christ who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the word. The commandments of the Lord are near to us, written in our hearts. We need only to carry them out in the daily events of life. The first reading. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, If only you would heed the voice of the Lord, your God, and keep his commandments and statutes that are written in this book of the law, when you return to the Lord, your God, with all your heart 
and all your soul. For this command that I enjoin on you today is not too mysterious and remote for you. It is not up in the sky that you should say, who will go up in the sky to get it for us and tell us of it that we may carry it out? Nor is it across the sea that you should say, who will cross the sea to get it for us and tell us of it that we may carry it out? No, it is something very near to you, already in your mouths and in your hearts. You have only to carry it out. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. The response is, turn to the Lord in your need and you will live. Turn to the Lord in your need and you will live. I pray to you, O Lord, for the time of your favor, O God, in your great kindness, answer me with your constant help. Answer me, O Lord, for bounteous is your kindness and your great mercy Turn toward me. Response. Turn to the Lord in your need, and you will live. I am afflicted and in pain. Let your saving help, O God, protect me. I will praise the name of God in song, and I will glorify him with thanksgiving. Response. Turn to the Lord in your need, and you will live. See, you lowly ones, and be glad. You who seek God, May your hearts revive, for the Lord hears the poor, and his own who are in bonds he spurns not. Response. Turn to the Lord and your need, and you will live. For God will save Zion and rebuild the cities of Judah. The descendants of his servants shall inherit it, and those who love his name shall inhabit it. Response. Turn to the Lord and your need, and you will live. Christ Jesus is both the image of the invisible God and of the lowly person. By becoming man, he has taken the face of every man and woman. The second reading. Second reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Christ Jesus is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him were created all things in heaven and on earth, the invisible and the invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that all things he himself might be preeminent. For in him all the fullness was pleased to dwell, and through him to reconcile all things for him, making peace by the blood of his cross through him, whether those on earth or those in heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all rise for the gospel acclamation. be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel 
According to Saint Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. There was a scholar of the law who stood up to test Jesus and said, Teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, What is written in the law? How do you read it? He said in reply, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your being, and with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. He replied to him, You have answered correctly. Do this, and you will live. But because he wished to justify himself, he said to Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Jesus replied, A man fell victim to robbers as he went down from Jerusalem to Jericho. They stripped and beat him and went up him and went up leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down that road, but when he, he saw him, he passed by on the opposite side. Likewise, a Levite came to the place, and when he saw him, he passed by on the opposite side. But a Samaritan traveler who came upon him was moved with compassion at the sight. He approached the victim, poured oil and wine over his wounds, and bandaged them. Then he lifted him up on his own animal took him to an inn and cared for him. The next day, he took out two silver coins and gave them to the innkeeper with the instruction, Take care of him. If you spend more than what I have given you, I shall repay you on my way back. Which of these three, in your opinion, was neighbor to the robber's victim? He answered, The one who treated him with mercy. Jesus said to him, Go and do likewise. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Before I give my homily, for in behalf of Father Albert and Father Sonny, and all the parishioners of the Holy Cross and uh, Katipanan Parish express my deepest condolences and sympathy to the Ferrandas and Salcedo family for the demise of Medardo or Manoy Medi. I would like to explore this insight that came into while I was reflecting on the gospel about the parable of the Good Samaritan that um, one of the traits or characteristics that is required of us so that we can enter into heaven is friendliness or congeniality you will be probably shocked or rather amazed why friendliness and congeniality is a, a trait for you to enter heaven. Well, for simple reason. If saints are called friends of God, then therefore those who will enter heaven are the friends of God. So those who established friendship with God. And saints did establish friendship with God here on earth. They started building friends here on earth. So that's why when you go to heaven, it's not a solitary place. It's not a lonely place. 
you will find there the communion of saints. That's why heaven must be a very festive, festive place, as I would say. A festive where you celebrate, when you enjoy the presence of the other. That's why our faith teaches us about beatific vision when you see God face to face. And how do you see God face to face when we are all wearing our face mask? That's why I removed my face mask. So you can see me. Nah, I'm just, <laughs> I'm, I'm fully vaccinated already. So I just removed my face so you can see me, so I can teach you, and you can see me. Yeah, friendship. Friendship with God. But you cannot have friendship with God if you never experience friendship with human beings. You can only have friends. You can start having friends here on earth. And how do you become friends? Who are your friends? Friends are, they are not related to you by consanguinity. They are not related to you by blood. They are related to you by simply, by, by connaturality. You met, accident, by surprise, by serendipity. You just, your paths crossed. And then, voila, voila, you're already friends. So friends come naturally, spontaneously. That's why you cannot force, you will be my friend, I will be your friend. Let's have a contract. Let's sign a contract that we become friends. No. It comes naturally. I heard, I am not, I do not know personally Medardo, but I have heard many things about the stories of friendship. He would always go to his friends. He would always visit his friends. He would always stay there until the late night and he would make that closing program and closing remarks before he leaves. Well, that's the characteristic of friendliness. You can share even the deepest secrets you can divulge, divulge to your friends without worrying, without trepidation or fear. So, that's why the saints are the friends of God because they share their inmost secrets to God. So, if you have something, if you want to learn something from our beloved dead, whose remains are in front of us and whose mass we celebrate for his eternal repose, learn from his friendliness. Learn, and for sure, I think, that made him very happy because as a bachelor of 54 or 55 years of age, you don't have a family of your own. You don't have children of your own. That's why it's a reminder for me being priest and celibate that I have to have friends, universal friends. So you will not be lonely. You have friends. So if you want to go to heaven, find a good company. The company of the saints, the company of friends. Of course, uh, friends share not only good times, but also bad times. They also share over a cup of tea, over a bottle of wine, which... Medardo loves so much. Part of his humanity. Part of his humanity. Yeah, you can enter heaven if you accept your humanity. Because God created us as human beings. We were not created as angels. You will, we will not enter into heaven angels. We will enter as human beings. So, friends like to share about their eccentricities, their idiosyncrasies, their weaknesses and imperfections, their foibles. They share sorrows and joys, laughters and pains. That's why I remember my Lola who said, 
no matter what happens into your life, never forget sense of humor. Always find humor out of the tragedy. Find a comedy out of the tragedy. And if you have lemons, make a lemonade and enjoy the lemonade too. For the families of and relatives of Medardo, you have a friend. But he is also a friend of our Lord. And precious is the eye in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his friend. You know, when you have friends, you, you spend time talking, talking, conver conversation, conversation here in the unlimited, even before cell phones and before telephones were in. Uh, Invented, you talk, you talk. That is why you allow your friends to talk. So that when you d our friends are gone, then we make the talking. I that remember, I remember that beautiful mobile from written by Mitch Album, you no, know, the Tuesdays with Maury. He said. Now that I am still alive, I talk and you listen. When I'm gone, you talk and I will listen. So that's why last night you have a necrological service. Because you talked and I'm sure he is listening. And he listened to you very well. In the gospel today, for the fifth 15th Sunday in Ordinary Time. It was not the priest who helped the victim. It was not the Levite who helped the victim. It is one who is totally unrelated to the victim. One who is even considered the mortal enemy of the Jews. One who had compassion and empathy and sensitivity because he was he saw a brother robbed and almost dead or half dead and this man who helped him is a Samaritan a good Samaritan so it's not by blood not by blood not by any Relations even of affinity or consanguinity. Empathy is given to the one who is in need. I do believe, I do believe, Medardo has become a good Samaritan to many of you. And that is also a challenge for us. How can we be, become a good Samaritan to our brothers and sisters. Totally, totally unrelated to us. How can we show mercy to those in need? Brothers and sisters, I will end my homily by saying that heaven is a place of total unexpectedness. Perhaps those who whom you are going to see there are those whom you do not expect to be there. And I hope that one day we will also be there because heaven is a place of total unexpectedness. As St. Paul says in the letter to the Corinthians, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, what God has prepared for those who love him. What God has prepared for his friends. Eternal rest grant unto Medardo, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Amen. Please all stand.
we recite the creed. Because today is Sunday. I believe in one God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven, heaven and on earth, of, of all things visible and invisible. And invisible. I, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten of the Son of God, God born of the, the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, to God from to God, 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 begotten at me, consubstantial with the Father. Father. Through him all things were made, and for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake was crucified under Pontius Pilate, suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. Amen. Prayer of the Faithful God, the Almighty Father, raised Christ, His Son, from the dead. With confidence, we ask Him to save all His people, living and dead. For every petition, we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For Midardo, who in baptism was given the pledge of eternal life, may he now be admitted to the company of the saints. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the family and friends of our brother Midardo, that they may be consoled in their grief by the Lord, who wept at the death of his friend Lazarus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our deceased relatives and friends, and for all who have helped us, that they may have the reward of their goodness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have fallen asleep, and the hope of rising again, that they may see God face to face, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us assembled here to worship in faith, that we may be gathered together again in God's kingdom, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, hear our prayer. For our brother Medardo, and for all who have gone before us in faith to eternal life, free them from all their sins and let them, them share in the fullness of salvation in the kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The presentation of the gifts.
please all stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy Look church. Look upon the offerings of your church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may be they may bring ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you so loved the world, that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by which and by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Accountable holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the two falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Rolando a bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant Midado, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he, who was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command informed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, let us sing together the Lord's Prayer. Give us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Ooh. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her, grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. 
The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace be with you. the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be May healed. the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. The body of Christ.
Please all stand. Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow through Christ our Lord. Amen. Final commendation and farewell with faith in Jesus Christ, we reverently bring the body of our brother Midardo to be buried in its human imperfection. Let us pray with confidence to God who gives life to all things that he will raise up this mortal body to the perfection and company of the saints. May God give him a merciful judgment and forgive all his sins. May Christ, the Good Shepherd, lead him safely home to be at peace with God, our Father. And may he be happy forever with all the saints in the presence of the Eternal King. Saints of God, come to his aid. Come to meet him, angels of the Lord. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. May Christ who called you take you to home. May angels lead you to our parents' side. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Give eternal rest, O Lord, and may your light shine on him forever. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Invocations by your coming as man. Lord, save your people. By your birth. Lord, save your people. By your baptism and fasting. Lord, save your people. By your suffering and cross. Lord, save your people. By your death and burial. Lord, save your people. By your rising to new life. Lord, save your people. By your returning glory to the Father. Lord, save your people. By your gift of the Holy Spirit. Lord, save your people. By your coming people. again in glory. Lord, save your Let's people. Let us pray, one our Father, for the eternal repose of the soul of Medardo, our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Be angels, welcome you to paradise. May the martyrs greet you on your way. May you see the face of the Lord this day. Amen. 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 Father, into your hands we commend our brother Midardo. We are confident that with all you who have died in Christ, he will be raised to life on the last day and live with Christ forever. Lord, hear our prayer. Welcome our brother Medardo to paradise and help us to comfort each other with the assurance of our faith. Until we all meet in Christ to be with you and with our brother, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Once again, before our, my fi the final blessing, I would like to again express my deepest sympathy and condolences to the family Fernandez and Salcedo for the death of Medardo. May the company of saints, the friends of God, welcome him as one of their friends. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing in his great love. The God of all consolation gave man the gift of life. May he bless you with faith in the resurrection of his son and with the hope of our rising to new life. Amen. To you who are alive, may he grant forgiveness and all who have died a place of light and peace. Amen. And you believe that Jesus rose from the dead, so may you live with him forever in joy. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass ascended. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. May we invite our reverend fathers for a picture taking. <laughs> 